So welcome to Redemption Worship Center. We are so excited and glad that you can come in person and online to join with us in lifting up the Lord in praise. Amen. amen. Can I get an amen in the house? Amen. amen. Our God is a good God and we've come to shower him with praises. Amen. Even if you're online, you can shower the Lord with praises. He's been so good to us. And throughout this week, we have all the things that he has done. And we're just here to say thank you, Lord, for everything that you're doing and every way that you're moving in our lives. Because as simple as we take it as that we're here this morning, it could have been different. Amen. It could have been different. And no matter what's been going on in your life, no matter how your week has been, God has been good. Amen. And you are in the right place. If you're feeling discouraged this morning, if you don't know where the next financial move is coming from, this morning you can lift your hands to the Lord, you can call on his name, and you can say, God, I need you. God, make a way where there seems to be no way. And this morning he will do something for you. Amen? You can shower him with your praises, and, that will, and that's what we're going to do today. Please join me as we address the Lord in prayer. Heavenly Father, we magnify your name right now, Lord God. We thank you for this day, a brand new day, Lord God. A day that we've never seen before, Lord God. And Father God, we thank you, Lord God, that we are able to open up our eyes today, Lord God. Uh, through all of this week, Lord God, through everything that we've gone through, Lord God, you have been in our corner, Lord God. And today, Lord God, we've come to celebrate you, Lord God, to lift you up, Lord God, and to tell you thank you, Father, for everything that you're doing in our lives, Lord God. Sometimes when we're in the midst of the forest, Lord God, we cannot see where the, the way to get out, Lord God, but we know that you have a full picture of the forest, Lord God. You see the way out, Lord God, and you are leading us today, Lord God. And we pray, Lord God, that through your leading, Lord God, that we would not we would not get weary, Lord God. And Father God, that we would always call upon you and depend on you, Lord God, to set our path straight. Father God, as we come to worship, Lord God, I pray, Lord God, that everything, every weight, Lord God, everything that would trouble our minds, Lord God, that we would bring it to you, Father God. And Father God, you who whose burden is easy, whose yoke is easy, Lord God. Light on us, Lord God. We pray, Lord God, that you would come in this place, Lord God, and have your way, Lord God. Touch, Lord God. Heal, Lord God. Deliver, Lord God. Set free, Lord God. Have your way in this house as we lift you up in praise and glory and honor. Amen, amen, amen. Let me hear you say amen. 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 Let us begin to worship the Lord with praise as we invite the praise and worship team. Lift up the Lord. Let me say, let me hear you say hallelujah. hallelujah. Let me hear you say hallelujah. hallelujah. If you're online, you can type hallelujah in the, in the, in the chat. We want to lift up the Lord with praise because he has been so good to us. Amen? Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Shall we bless the name of the Lord? Shall we bless the name of the Lord? Hallelujah. We came to bless the Lord this morning. Amen. God is worthy to be praised. If you don't mind, if you can just turn to your neighbor and say good morning. Hallelujah. We're going to bless the Lord. Amen. Come on, put your hands together.
you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We are here just to give God praise. Amen. Amen. Where, wherever you are, just lift your hands up to the Lord and just say something to him. Just say how good he is, how awesome he is. He's worthy to be praised. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. This is my desire to honor you, Lord, with all my heart, I worship you, help me say.
desire, just lift your hands and say, come on, God, fill my cup, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We bless your name, God. We honor you in this place, God. We magnify your name, Jesus. You are worthy to be praised. We bless your name, Jesus. We bless your name, Jesus. To yours. Oh, Lord. Just give God an ovation of praise. Hallelujah. We can do better than that. Come on and give God an ovation of praise. Hallelujah. 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 Do we serve an awesome God? Do we serve an awesome God? Did we wake up this morning? Are we alive? God is awesome. He's worthy to be praised. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We're going to be doing our first congregational hymn. Just feel free to just worship God. Amen. He is worthy. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Put your hands together.
the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There to my heart was the blood applied. Who, who, has the blood been applied to anybody's heart this morning? I, I don't hear you. I don't hear you. The blood has been applied to my heart. Amen. 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 You may be seated for a moment. Anybody ever been in love before? Anybody experienced the feeling of love? Yeah. You sure? Yeah. You know how you feel when you're in love? Like nothing else matters, amen? Yeah. Nothing else matters. You're just wrapped up with your loved one, amen? Yeah. And Christ loved us that much that he went to the cross and died for our sins, amen? Amen. God loves us so much that he knows every hair on our head. He knows when we're awake. He knows when we're sleeping. God is in love with us. Amen? And this morning, we've come to tell God that we also love you. And we want to worship you. And we want to lift up your name. Amen? So feel free to worship today. You're in Liberation Hall. You're in Freedom Hall. You can worship. Amen? Amen? If God has done something for you, I want you to give him a praise. Amen? You are already in the house. You are already in the house. So you don't need to be worried about anything that was going on before you got here. Give this time unto God. Amen? I'm sure we're all dealing with many different things. Me, myself, I'm dealing with many different things. But this morning, I purposed in my heart to give God all the glory and give God all the praise. Amen? Amen, amen. amen. Let us stand as we do our confession of faith. Let's just confess the goodness of God. Amen? amen. This is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. Christ has redeemed me from the curse of the law. Crucified with Christ, nevertheless I live. Yet not I, but Christ lives by faith in me. His word dwells in me richly. I am blessed. I am healed. I am delivered. I have been set free. Sickness can't dwell in me. The number of my days he will fulfill. Sin cannot dominate me because Jesus Christ is my Lord and I am in him. By faith I have the abundant life and the victory he provides. Therefore, no weapon formed against me will prosper. I am more than a conqueror because of his love. And greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. As the redeemed of the Lord, I say so. Amen. Do we believe that today? We can do all things through Christ who strengthens us. Amen. And we, and we believe that confession. I, I want to impress to us today that God cares about us, amen? amen? No matter what you are going through, no matter what you're experiencing, God words in his, in, his, in his book to tell you, to show you, to express how much he loves you, amen? Amen. amen. At this time in our service where we bring the Lord our tithes and our offering, and you will notice on the screen, uh, three different ways that you can give. Uh, you can give through email, through rwcfinance at gmail.com. You can also give online through RWC Toronto, through PayPal, and you can also bring your offering, your love gift to the church office. And we want a special thank all of you who have been diligent in, in giving and, and blessing the Lord with your offering. God richly bless all of you. Uh, during the time of our 
collection of the offering we're going to have Sister Glenda doing a special song for us. Please welcome her. Bless the Lord. Hallelujah. In this time of uncertainty, isn't it good to know that we have a God who can be our strength, who could be our healer, whatever we need, he is. Bless the Lord. You are my strength, strength like no other, strength like no other, reaches to me.
Bless God. Hallelujah. Is it your strength this morning? Is it your strength today? Hallelujah. His unfailing love. His unfailing love that he has for us. No matter what you're dealing with, in your weakest point, he has unfailing love for each and every one of us. Amen? We don't really comprehend or understand how God loves us. We say it, we sing about it, but I don't think we really comprehend the love that God has for us. Amen? Let us pray for the offering. Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord God, for the offering that was collected, Lord God. We thank you, Lord God, for each and every person, Lord God, that stretched forth their hand to give, Lord God. You know their situations, Lord God. You know what they have, their need of, Lord God. So I ask, Lord God, that you would make a way, Lord God, where there seems to be no way, Lord God. That you would provide for your people, Lord God. And Father God, that you would bless this offering that we have collected today, Lord God. Let us stretch to do your work here, Lord God. And Father God, we pray, Lord God, that all the promises that are attached to giving, Lord God, will come upon your people. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen. At this time, I want us to put our hands together and welcome our senior pastor, Bishop Batiste. Praise God. Praise God. Uh, somebody said, Jesus love me, this I know. For the Bible tell me so. Little ones to him belong. We are weak, but he is strong. Unfailing love. Love like no other. Amen. Reaches down to me. What a, what a comforting word on today to know that there is a love that is unfailing. A love that the world really don't understand. A love that not even mother who love their children so much can understand the love that God has for us. Amen. Irrespective of who you are, what you have done, Jesus still loves you. Amen, somebody. Praise God. I greet you in the name of the Lord. Happy to be in the house of the Lord. Good to see you in the house of the Lord. And also to know that God is still good. Amen. Since we last met, none of us have been missing from the number. We are still on the land of the living. God is still good. Praise the name of the Lord. And we still believe his word that no plague will come nigh our dwelling. Amen. Amen. And he still gives his angel charge. Amen over his people. And so we are resting on the, uh, the, the, those powerful words of God that he will take care. Amen. What here be tied, he will take care of all of us. Amen. Praise God. Uh, I have a word for somebody in the house on this Lord's Day. And for somebody who is uh, listening to us by way of YouTube, God has a word for you. From the book of Deuteronomy chapter 2, I'm just reading three verses. The full chapter is my text anyways, but I'm just reading verse 1, 2, and 3. Of Deuteronomy chapter 2. Then we turned and took our journey into the wilderness by the way of the Red Sea, as the Lord spake unto me. And we circle, the King James says, compassed, Mount Edom many days. 
And the Lord speak unto me, saying, You have circled this mountain long enough, turn northward. Rather, you have compassed this mountain long enough, turn you northward. Amen. Amen. Um, I want to be using us as a theme this morning. It's time for a change. Take the mask off. Not the one that you're wearing now. Keep it on. Keep on your mask as long as you're inside the house. Amen. But I want to talk about another mask that is being worn. Amen. So it's time for a change. Take the mask off. Amen. Now, the word said, you have circled this mountain long enough. Turn you northward. Amen. Now, I believe that God is speaking to somebody or some individuals today that it is time for a change. Amen. Now, you will agree with me that mask is uncomfortable. Am I right? And you can talk behind the mask. It's uncomfortable. Amen. It, 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 it obstruct your breathing. It, it prevents you from actually breathing properly. So this physical mask is necessary at this time. Amen. So I encourage every one of you or every one of us to keep our mask on during this period of time. But there is a mask that we all wear that mask who we really are. And we want to tear that off today. Amen. Amen. I came to tell somebody that we are into a season of change. Amen. And if you are like me, I want to say that it is really time for a change in the natural. Amen. Because we are tired of not being able to fellowship as we should. Is that amen? And tired of not being able to meet with friends as we should. Amen. And so we are actually needing a change and 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 I stopped by to say it is time for a change amen and and I stopped by to also tell somebody else that that major change is about to take place major shifting is about to take place I believe that 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 God's people Amen is actually tired of what is happening. According to our text, the Bible said that Amen, the people of Israel moved around Mount Edom for a very long time. Amen, mountains in the Bible represents problem. Amen. And, and there are those of us who have been going around our problem for a long time and, and, and not wanting to reveal the fact that we are having some problem, we put on a mask. Amen. And, and going through that situation and you meet up with someone and they ask you, how are you doing? And your response is, I am fine. But behind that fine is a problem. It's a terrible situation happening. 
And so that word, that word, those words rather, I am fine, is, is, is a mask that we use to put over the real problem. Amen. Because you see, nobody cannot see the real problem. So if you can put on a plastic smile and say, I am fine, then nobody will ask you any further how you are. Praise God. And so we, we march around this situation for years. Going around the problem and it still exists because we are wearing a mask. Amen. But I stop by to tell somebody it is time for a change. It is time to take off the mask and be real. Let us expose the situation to God and say, Lord, it is me again. I have a problem that I cannot solve. I have a prayer that needs an answer. It's me again. I am hurting Amen. Too many individuals are dying on the inside but seemingly look good on the outside. But I'm here to tell somebody it's time to take off the mask and say, Lord, it's me again. I am hurting. There are many whose physical situation becomes a great struggle for them. Amen. Some health situation become a great struggle for them. And it seems as if that every morning I wake up, something is going wrong. Every time I go to bed, sometimes I don't want day, amen, to break so quickly because I don't want to face my situation. So I want to stay behind the mask of sleep. But it's time to take off the mask. Praise the name of the Lord. Bless the name of the Lord. The, the God said it is time for a change. Amen. And if we are not sick and tired of being what we are suffering under the condition, there will be no change. Amen. And so if there is going to be any change, we have to move ourselves from being comfortable behind the mask and let us be open before God and say, I am hurting. It's like going to the doctor. The doctor tell you, ask you rather, where it hurts, you sit all over. Then the doctor asks you the question, really, where it's hurting? Doc, I don't even know, so why are you here? Hiding behind the mask. Of reality. Oh, praise the name of the Lord. Because sometimes the situations, the problems that we are experiencing will drive us to the doctor's office and we are not even physically sick. But there is a need on the inside for healing. Oh, praise the name of the Lord. I said there is a need on the inside for healing. For so many years, for so many years, I have been suffering with this situation and nobody knows. Come to church. I sing and I dance. I shake hands. I give a plastic smile, but I go back home still hurting. I step by to tell somebody this afternoon, this morning, or even tonight, I mean, whatever time you are viewing this broadcast, that it is time for a change. Get real with the situation. Get real before God and say, God, it's me again. I have a need. I have had enough fear and confusion 
Lord, I have had enough discouragement. Lord, I have had enough luck. Lord, I have had enough disappointments. Lord, I have had enough rejection and betrayal. I have had enough shame. Lord, I am tired. I am now about to take off the mask. I don't know who I am speaking to this day through this message. But God is saying to you that it is time to get real. Amen. You are hurting too long. And it's time for healing. It's time to get real. And said, Lord, here I am. I need deliverance. I can't hold it out any longer. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Amen. One, one, one of the worst scenarios in the Bible in the book of Ezekiel chapter 37, in the valley is the valley of dry bones. It, it looked hopeless, impossible, beyond the point of return. But when the man of God started prophesying to those bones, something start happening. Change starts taking place my brothers and sisters you are here in the bounds of my voice to hear the word of the lord to tell you this day that it's time for a change your situation or your situations may be such that you believe that there is no remedy for such a situation. But I stop by to tell you. Yes there is a remedy. Yes there is a solution. And that can be found. In the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Many of us have been going around. Amen. Too long in a, in a cycle. Right now it's time to seek the Lord. Oh praise the name of the Lord. It is time to seek the Lord. It is time to take the mask off. And say Lord take. Take me as I am. I have held back long enough. It's time for me now to be released of all that I'm going through. I stop by to tell somebody. It's only Jesus can bring you real healing. It's only Jesus can bring you real deliverance. The world offers false hope. The worlds offer you a temporary fix for the situation. The world offer you mask that you put on to mask the problem. But Jesus said, take off the mask because I am the healer. I am the one who bring, amen, permanent healing. Somebody need to know that you need Jesus more than ever. You need Jesus more than how you needed him yesterday. You need him today. It's time for a change. For somebody, it's time to turn over your life to the Lord. It's time to change um, and your style of living. It's time to get sick and tired of the lifestyle that you have been going through. It's time to say, Lord, I am tired of this situation. I need a turnaround in my life. Somebody need to wake up this day and recognize the fact that the time clock is striking. And the bad thing about it, none of us knows, amen, when our clock, the, the, the hand on our clock will reach zero or 12 o'clock, so to speak. Amen, when all that we have going, been going through will come to an end. I stop by to tell somebody that Jesus is knocking at your door and is 
is screaming out to this preacher that it is time for a change. Amen. I have gone around this circle long enough. I have made enough excuses to comfort myself where I am. It's time to stop marching around the circle and take off the mask and open your face wide and say, Lord, here am I. Some of us, we are yoked, we are bound, we are tied to a situation in our life. The devil have us so wrapped up and tied up in that situation until we begin to accept it as our own. I stop by to tell somebody the situation that you're in is not yours. The devil place it on you. It's time to let it go. Oh, somebody give God praise. Amen. It's not my headache. It's not my blood pressure. It is not my arthritis. It is not my this or my that. Amen. It's not yours because Jesus already paid the price to deliver you from all of that. All you've got to do is to take the mask off and say, Jesus, I'm tired of this. I am tired of that. I need a deliverance right now. And he will run by you and will deliver you right there and then. Somebody need to cry out, I am tired. You heard one writer said, I'm tired of sin and strain now. Lord, I am coming home. Oh, glory to God. Oh, glory to God. I now repent with bitter tears. Lord, I'm coming home. Oh, glory to God. Amen. It's not until the mask is taken off before you can see who you really are. Amen. The prodigal boy, when he ran away from home, amen, rather he took all of that his father had for him and he leave home and he went out, the Bible said, in a very far country. Oh, glory to God and he spent all that he had amen in living a wild life amen but one day when everything was done the bible said he took off the mask and he saw who he was oh glory to God he said here am I wanting to eat the food that, the, that is fed to the swine and my father of servant and table spread look at what I had and look at where I am now when he took off the mask he said I'm going to get up and go back to my father and say father I'm not worthy to be called your son but make me one of your hired servant. Oh, glory to God. When he took the mask off, he saw where he was. He saw who he became. I stopped by to tell you that the father is still waiting. The with father is waiting with arms wide open. He will pardon you. It is no secret. And the father saw him coming the bible said a pharaoh which is suggesting that he was actually looking for his son to come back home I stop by to tell you that God is still looking for his children who have strayed away to come back home. Oh, praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Softly and tenderly, Jesus is calling, calling for you and for me. Oh, glory to God. The Father saw him afar off. Oh, praise the name of Jesus. And when he came closer, he ran and he hugged him. This is my son that was last. Oh, praise the name of Jesus. Today, God is waiting to throw his hands around somebody and say, come on to me, all he that labor and are heavy laden. It's time for a change. And for somebody, your season of change is today. Are you ready? Are you ready to take off the mask 
and step right into this change. Step right into this new season. Oh, praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Listen, this COVID thing, I don't know how long it is going for, but one day it will end. Oh, praise the name of the Lord. One day you are going to leave your home without this temporary and temporal mask. Oh, glory to God. One day it will change. Oh, glory to God. But this mask that I'm really talking about, the only person that have the power to change it is you and God. When you see who you are and decide to take off the mask, then you will start a brand new future with God. Somebody give him praise in the sanctuary. When you have taken off the mask of fear, you see, some of us stay in a certain condition because of fear. I am afraid to step out because the devil makes me comfortable into where I am and what I am. But I stop by to tell you that you got to uh, transfer from fear to faith. Amen. What is faith? Faith is stepping into what I don't even understand. It's reaching out in the dark and expect to hold a hand that I cannot see. I stop by to tell you that God is that God who when you reach out in the dark, although you can't see his hand, he will reach down and grab your hand. All he wants is your faith to step forward. I stop by to tell somebody you don't have to continue living the way you are. You can be delivered. Whether from sin, sick, or disease, you can be delivered if you just take the mask off and say, Lord, here I am. Here I am. Oh, praise the name of the Lord. Oh, praise the name of the Lord. You see, when you take the mask off, you now see who you really are. And when you have decided, amen, to go with God, when you have decided to take on and what he has given you. According to Isaiah 43 verse 18 and 19. Amen. He said, remember ye not the former things. Neither consider the things of old. Behold, I will do a new thing. Now it shall spring forth. I stop by to tell somebody that God is getting ready to do a new thing in your life. Oh, glory to God. He's getting ready to change some things in your life and start something new within you shall spring bring up in you that people will wonder is that you that I saw last week yes it's me but it's a change to me because I have taken off the mask praise God you see one of our greatest entrances to our breakthrough is our memory Because we have a tendency to always want to go back into our past instead of advancing in our future. Oh, glory to God. God is a God of the now and the then. Amen. My yesterday is gone. Oh, glory to God. Whatever I was, it's under the blood. And whatever I have done or accomplished, and it, whether good or bad, I can't do anything to it. It's in the past. But I can do something about today. And I can make today, amen, prepare for my tomorrow. Oh, praise the name of the Lord. It's time to take off the mask and say, Lord Jesus, receive me. Because to get... The new, 
we have to separate from the whole, both mentally, emotionally, spiritually, and in some case, physically. In other words, you may have to get rid of some friends. Because you see, some friends love you to be where they are because they have no intention of taking off their mask and moving forward. Hello, somebody. But when you really take off that mask and turn around and turn to Jesus, I mean, your friends would want to keep you there. So what you got to do is to get rid of some friends. Oh, praise the name of Jesus. Because now you have found a friend in Jesus. He's everything to me. He's the fairest of 10,000 to my soul. In sorrow, he is my comfort. In trouble, he is my stay. Oh, praise the name of Jesus. You need somebody with you who can share your heavy load. You need somebody with you who cares and understands. You see... Sometimes you have to destroy even good things that comes into our lives because it is tied to the past. Amen. And, and to go forward, you have to let go of the past. Oh, glory to God. Listen, it does not matter what he or she or they do to you. It doesn't matter what they say or did or not say about you. It doesn't matter, my brothers and sisters. The past is the past. Now, if any man be in Christ Jesus, he is a brand new creation. Because all things have passed away and now everything become new. It is time to... To take off the mask and turn to Jesus. Oh, praise the name of the Lord. The, the, the text says that the people walked or marched or sat around Mount Edom for a very long time. Oh, glory to God. For a very long time. Oh, glory to God. And if I may bring it home to us, there are some of us who have sat in sin and walked around the sin problem for years. But Jesus is saying this afternoon, you have done that long enough. It's time to face northward and move forward. North means up. It's time to look to God and move out of that circle, circle that you are going around. You have circled this situation long enough. Looking for an answer in the wrong places. From the wrong people. From the wrong things. But I stop by to tell somebody. That what you are looking for. Can be found in Jesus Christ. Oh praise the name of the Lord. Whatever the situation is. Whether it is a sin problem. A sick problem. A mental problem. Whatever the problem is. Whatever that mountain is. Jesus said to tell you. That you have circled that mountain long enough. It's time to get up. And stop circling. And move forward upward. Somebody give God a praise. In the sanctuary. Amen. Amen. It's time to let go. Let go and let God. Oh, glory to God. Praise the name of the Lord. Whatever you are holding on to that 
keeps you bound, it's time to let go and let God. Oh, glory to God. Let go because it has not helped you so far. But here I'm presenting to you a new way, a brighter way. A way that if you just decide to trust Jesus and accept this way, amen, then there will be a change. Oh, praise the name of the Lord. Just take off the mask and identify who you really are and say, Jesus, this is me. What is your need? Tell him what you need. Amen. There was a whole song in the church. He said, Jesus on the main line. Tell him what you need. Oh, somebody give God praise in the sanctuary. Oh, praise the name of Jesus. Sometimes we are so close to our breakthrough. But the mask is still preventing us from seeing the face of Jesus. Oh, praise the name of the Lord. Sometimes we are so close to getting our problem solved, but we have that mask on. And you know, th this mask, this mask that, 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 that the enemy puts on our face, it not only cover our mouth and our nose, but it also cover our eyes. Amen. It's a mask from your forehead to your chin. So you can't actually see, amen, outside of what you're seeing under the mask. Oh, praise the name of the Lord. He, he seemed to, to try to hide your face from seeing the reality of who God is. And also hide your face from seeing the reality of who you really are. Did you know that? Many times, the person who you are looking at with your natural eyes is not the real person you are seeing. Hello. As I said earlier on in my presentation, I mean, the person, I mean, who has a real good mask can be hurting inside, bleeding on the inside, but can look you in the face and smile and tell you, I am fine. But there is somebody whose name is Jesus. He sees beyond the mask. Amen. Oh, glory to God. And he knew that you would be here on this day so that I can tell you from him that he has seen behind the mask and he sees the hurt. He sees the pain. He sees the care. He sees the rejection. He sees the frustration. He sees how oh, you are fed up. Amen. And sick and tired of being sick and tired. And the mask that you are wearing is preventing you from seeing the real answer. But Jesus is the answer in all the world today. Without him, there is no other. Jesus is the way. Oh, praise the name of the Lord. For those of you who have been struggling on the path of your Christian journey, I say to you today, keep courage, my brother and my sister. Do not stumble. Don't care how dark the path may be because there is a light to guide the humble. Trust in God and do the right. Oh, glory to God. Yes, sometimes the situation is such that you mask it. Talking to the Christians. I stop by to tell you, take off the mask. Oh, glory to God. Take off the mask and say, Lord, this is me. I am weak. I need strength. Amen. Because a lot of us pretend to be strong. But dying on the inside. Lord, I am weak. I need your strength. Tell him as it is. Be real. Get real. Because he knows, oh glory to God. And what he wants you to do is to admit who you are. And he will do the changes. Oh glory to God. And there are those outside 
of the community of the children of God, I appeal to you this day to take off the mask that the devil placed on you to cause you to think that you're okay. Take off that mask because you are never okay until you have accepted Christ as your personal savior. You are never okay. You are never all right until Jesus reigns on the inside. Oh, somebody give God praise in the sanctuary until you see yourself as the prodigal son. I said, look where I find myself. I am a Jew. I have no right to be among the pigs. More so, hungry is killing me. And I feel like eating some of the pig's food. He get to that point and he ripped the mask off. Oh, glory to God. Look back and said, my father is rich. Oh, praise the name of the Lord. Paraphrasing now. In houses and land. He owns the entire world in his hands. Here am I. Hungry, cold, naked. But having seen himself, he said, I will now arise. Oh, glory to God. Oh, glory to God. Oh, glory to God. I wish somebody today would declare that in your spirit, that I will arise and take off the mask and said, I'm going to my father. Oh, praise the name of the Lord. If I perish, I perish, but I'm not going to stay here and die. I'm going back to my father's house. Oh, somebody give him praise in the sanctuary. It's time to move from where you are and get back to your father's house. It's time to leave that condition that you are in and say, Jesus, I am sick and tired. I'm now coming. I'm not worthy to be called your son. But even if you can only make me one of your hired servant, I will be comfortable. Oh, praise the name of the Lord. Oh, praise the name of the Lord. Oh, bless the name of the Lord. Say to us this afternoon, there is still life for a look. Uh, the crucified one. There's life. This moment. For you. You have. Settled. That mountain. Long enough. It's time. To leave. That place. And go northward. It's time to say I'm sick and tired of going around in a circle. It's time to look to the Lord. Bow your heads everywhere. You have come past this mountain long enough. This is just another way of saying it is time for a change. Whether a change from doubt to faith, whether it's a change from sin to grace, whether it, uh, it is a change from being stagnant to a place of activity, but we can't sit here until we die. I will arise. Oh glory to God. Yes. I will. Arise. I'm tired of the discomfort. 
tired of the frustration. Tired of begging. Tired of the pain and the headache and the struggle. I'm going to look to the one who has the answer to all of my conditions. His name is Jesus. His name is Jesus. If you are here this morning, not if you are here, you are here this morning. And this simple message reaches your mind. I want you to think on these things. I want you to think on these things. And having thought about it, decide to make a change. Decide to make a change. Listen, with your head still bowed. In this, the city of Toronto, our neighboring in the GTA where you have lived, so many people, hundreds of individuals, caught this virus. Many died. But today, you are still spared. You are still spared. God still love you. God still care about you. And this day, he has asked me to tell you, it's time to make a change. He passes, I mean, the, the, he allowed the virus to pass over you. And you are still virus free today. Death came very close to your door, but you are still alive because he wants you to make a decision today. He needs a turnaround in your life. And so with your head bowed, eyes closed, I'm going to ask those of you that need a change in your life, need a change in your lifestyle, a change in the circumstances that you are experiencing presently. I'm going to ask you to raise your hand right where you are and say, Preacher, pray with me. Nobody looking around to see who is and who is not. Because this comes down to a personal situation. You need Christ in your life or you need a change in your life experience I'm going to ask you to raise your hand right where you are and say preacher pray with me you did not come God bless you God bless you you did not come God bless you to this center by accident I know some of you are here for a baby dedication but you are on a very special assignment today. Jesus wanted you to be here and to listen to this word, to understand that life is serious. Life is serious. Life is serious. And we are living in serious times. Not a time to play around. Not a time to put off what should be done today. Because Jesus is coming very soon. Jesus is coming very soon. I'm going to be praying. I'm going to be praying. I'm going to ask you to come to the altar because we need to be observing certain protocols. 
but there is no distance in prayer. The Spirit of the Lord knows you where where you are. What we are talking about is a heart situation. It's a mind condition. Ah, if you believe in your heart, that's your mind, that Jesus Christ died and rose from the dead and believe that you are a sinner, needs a savior and have made up in your mind that I want to turn my life over to Jesus. That's all he requires and he will do the rest. He will do the rest. Forget about tomorrow. Forget about yesterday. Forget about last week. Just think about the now. Now is the acceptable time. Now is the hour of salvation. Now is the time to stop circling around the mountain. And look to Jesus who is the author and finisher of our faith. And so as I pray, I want to ask you to concentrate on Christ. Whisper a prayer to Jesus. Tell him who you are. Tell him what is your need. Father, I am a sinner. I need salvation. Father, I have been walking the Christian pathway, but I'm weak. I need strength. Amen. Father, I have some problems that I can't handle. I'm going to stop moving around the problem and turn it over to you. Amen. And trust God today to hear and answer prayers. Father, we thank you for your word to us on today. A serious word. A word that caused us to think. A word that caused us to look back. A word that caused us to look around. The word that caused us to look forward. And so, Father, I pray that you will visit every heart that is bowed before you today. You know the needs of your people. Lord, I pray that the Holy Spirit will take over even right now. My assignment that you have placed on me is completed. And so, Lord, I ask that the Holy Spirit will now visit each individual. Lord, as they be convicted, pray that you receive them. You will cleanse and make whole. You will heal sick bodies. You will heal sick minds. You will turn around situations that seemed impossible to move. Lord, you will cause somebody to rejoice again. You'll cause somebody to dance again. You'll cause somebody to shout again. It'll cause somebody to leave this sanctuary or to move away from the screen where they are watching this broadcast with a heart of rejoicing, a heart of gratitude. And today somebody will cry out, I have found a Savior and he is sweet, I know. Somebody will cry out, I came, I listened, and the word healed my condition. Somebody will cry out, I'm glad 
And I was in the presence of the Lord. And so, Father, we thank you for hearing our prayers. And for addressing every need that comes up before you. And thou who is able to do all things, we leave them into your hands and tell you thanks. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. We trust that the word today have reached that heart and that change will take place. Praise God. Praise the Lord. Can we just rise to our feet? We're going to sing on to the Lord. Amen. 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 Prince of Peace, I see how mighty you are. Rose of Sharon, how mighty you are. Lord of Hosts, I see how mighty you are. King of Kings, I see how mighty you are. How awesome you are, how great you are. Ruler of all, I place you high above all. How awesome you are. Okay, we're going to sing together. 
Lord, just continue to stand as we're about to go. Just raise your right hand at this time. And we're going to declare something over this week. We're going to be walking in freedom this week. Amen. We're going to be walking in victory this week. Amen. No longer circling that mountain. And we're going to say the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Have a blessed week.